Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I'm covering mobile GUI multi-clicks. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to be able to show you this, but trust me, it works. When you test it on your own devices, it will work. Um, the reason I can't show you is I've just done a clean install of Windows 10 onto my machine. And I don't have any of the components to be able to export into Android to test. I can tell you it works because I've done it before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a series of buttons. So I'm just going to call this sprite button. And in Game Maker you can have up to five clicks. So what I'm just going to do here is very simple and easy. Quick tutorial because I haven't put up for last week either, which I apologize. I was upgrading this PC to Windows 10. Um, so each of my buttons is going to be labeled 1 through 5 because I'm pretty sure the maximum it can have is 5 clicks from memory. Again, don't be afraid to test because it's easy enough to do once I show you how to do it. So <clears throat> this basically breaks down to um, my previous tutorial as well with how to utilize or basically set up dynamic buttons because again I'm using buttons. If you didn't want it to be dynamic buttons, you just ignore the ID part of the code I use, and then it will just look for a click. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. I'm just quickly doing this, make it look nice, so you guys can see what I mean. Um, I'm also going to show you how I set up these sprites. These sprites are pretty easy, though. So I've got five, not five. Apparently, I can't count. Uh, shift that that way. Sorry about that. And you, go, you get to see my first blunder for the night already. One. Okay. So I've got one through five. Agreed. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the same kind of term one. And basically, I'm going to set the sprite because I need it to set a mask. Now, if I don't, if I don't do that, I need to define the mask. So that sprite defines the mask. So if I go, what I do is I store my sprite like this in a variable, and this is some universal scripting, and I'm just going to call it sprite. So basically, it gives me the ability to recall at any time I need it, which makes it my life easier normally when I'm playing around with some of the more complex things. And to set the mask, so this is what deals with the collisions and stuff, I'm just going to use mask index is equal to, oh, also the text is a bit small, is it? Nope, nope, there it goes. Make it a bit bigger for you guys. Okay, so from there, what I can do is, you can see I've got VR sprite, sprite button. I'm calling the same object there. And I'm setting the sprite as the index mask. Easy. You can actually dynamically change them depending on the masks you want as well. So you can get some pretty dynamic stuff going on. So now, I'll just set that so when I place it in a room I can see where it is. Um, so next thing here is I want to draw my sprite. So you guys should all be familiar with the draw sprite function like so. I was going one step too far. The AR sprite, zero, zero. This is where it asks me for sub imaging. What I can do is zero is button, or oh, one, image one, which is button, or oh, it says button one. And I'm just gonna draw X and Y. Okay, easy enough, not too hard to follow. And let's say I just wanted to give this a name, draw button. So you can see I've just used three slashes, and it will automatically change the execute piece of script, or piece of code, to draw button. Makes life easy. So now, I'm just going to go to a begin step. I'm now going to go if, and this is where I need to remember, I look at device, mouse click, so device just refers to anything that is not utilizing a mouse. 
So my device, and I'm going to set number zero. And I'm going to refer to MB left, which is left click. Now, with Game Maker, this, as I did discuss in my last tutorial, does cover how what finger on screen is pressed. So if you press with your index finger and then press with your thumb, your index is zero and your thumb is one. So that's what we're going to utilize here to separate out our buttons. And I can prove it works because when I try to click on any other one but button one, it will not work because I have one mouse. But the other thing I've got to do, because that's universal, I need to break it down and look at myself or the button. So I'm going to then go position, not point, sorry, thinking wrong to the script, instance, position. So I'm going to call a position and I'm going to again call device and you'll see some recurring information here. If it gives me what I want or I can be a complete idiot. So you can see I get a whole bunch of device scripts here, Rorex. I want device mouse X and you can see here it asks me again for a number I'm gonna put zero so the important part about that and again I'm just gonna put Y and I'm gonna call all and it's gonna be equal to ID which means myself so I'll try to expand this again I'm using a bit of a big text here Ooh two more levels. I think I'm taking screenshots with my capture as well. And the only th other thing I'm going to do just to help it out is I'm just going to create a temp value um, uh, click is equal to zero. So I'm just going to then call click across here. So each of these you guys can see what I mean. So click is equal to zero as I've defined up there. Okay. So once it does that, I'll go, um, I think it's show, show message, debug message, no, not what I want, show message, click, nope, I'll create an error like that, click, plus string, because I need to find a string, click, um, I'll do mouse, click. Okay, so that's a bit of just debug code. So that's our script that's going to do what we want it to do. That's going to show us our debug message. So if I run that, hopefully it doesn't keel over miserably. I'm hoping. I have been proven wrong in the past before. Let's see what it does. It's going to load on the other screen. Yep. It's going to tell me some crap. Okay. So you can see I've got it loaded up here. If I click on there, it's going to flag me. Mouse click zero. Agreed. So now if I do this and I create a duplicate and I call this button two and I come in here and I change click to one, this should not at all work because I've only got one mouse on screen and you can see it says two but when I load it will be still be two because I haven't changed that I changed the sprite index as well to one so the second button should not work and I am gonna kill whatever that is that keeps flagging that message um, and as you can see it doesn't work not at all if I click on one it works why is that though? So if I change this to zero, because this is the second button, you'll see that both of them will work because both of them are looking at the first click on screen. This is the same application as what you do on your tablet when you click. The only difference is I can't show you there because I don't have the application installed. See, click zero, click zero. Same idea though, when you're testing it on your tablet, you can go one and it will do click one. Um, so obviously I can do it up to five times, I'm pretty sure. Obviously none of these will work, but that was just a quick cut and dry, easy thing to do. That's how you just create a simple button on mobile GUI. 
Um, if you want to see any tutorials, please let me know because it's interesting trying to work out what you guys want. I know you guys want more mobile stuff, so if you want to flag some stuff you want to see, I might do one on um, screen resolutions on mobile, but I don't like playing with it because the mass is a bit of a pain in the ass because you're playing with aspect ratios. Um, but anything else, I've got some other stuff I've been working on as well for the game I've been developing that I can throw up. One of them is almost like dynamic pathing, which is pretty cool and not too hard to achieve. That looks at solid objects and stuff. Um, again, if you like this video, like, favorite, and subscribe. The usual hoo-ha. Leave a comment to know what you want or what you guys want to see next. Um, have a great night. See you later.